Hi, I'm Josh Monday from Roland and Boss, and I'm here today on behalf of Alan's Billy Hyde to show you the brand new Boss GT100 Amp Effects processor. The GT100 comes from a long line, a long pedigree of uh, GT effects processors from Boss, uh, back to the GT3 and 5, 15 odd years ago, through to the 6, 8, and 10 more recently. Uh, and each time, they just got better sounding, more natural sounding amplifiers, uh, and the great 24-bit 24, 24 quality studio effects uh, from Boss. So with the GT100, there's some incredible new technology that really uh, goes leaps and bounds ahead of the last, even the GT10, which sounded fantastic. So the new GT100 uses the brand new ESC2 chip, uh, and that chip is a chip manufactured by Roland, for Roland, uh, for specifically for our products. Every other manufacturer in the industry uses OEM, standard OEM chips, uh, and we're the only ones that use a dedicated chip. What does that mean for the player? That means much more natural nuances in the sound, uh, especially in the amplifiers, the brand new amplifiers that are in GT100 that I'll show you in a moment. Just allows for a lot more expressiveness and just a, a dedicated processor for musical instruments. It's very important. So the GT100 has all the same effects that you've come to expect from Roland and Boss uh, within the, the GT series. So every multiple effect you'd want, uh, Modulation effects, chorus, d d delays, reverbs, uh, a whole gamut of, of, of multi-effects. So if you've ever used the previous GT series, you'll know that there's a whole array of amplifiers on board from uh, uh, brands like Fender and Marshall and Soldano and all these different, different amp uh, manufacturers to try and simulate those amps on board. Now we have uh, a whole stack, pun intended, of new amplifiers, new advanced COSM amplifiers that are in the GT100 using... Uh, taking full advantage of the new SC2 chip. They're very expressive amplifiers and they're named very generic names uh, like combo drive and high gain stack. I'll show you those in a moment. But um, for the medley that I, that I did on the GT100, I used those brand new amplifiers 90% of the time. They're super expressive amps and they sort of breathe like a, like a real valve amp. Very different from the normal digital environment. So let's go through a few of these sounds. Starting off with uh, Little Wing here, this is an E flat. So we have it transposed from normal tuning down to E flat. And using my expression pedal, my control pedal here, sorry, to turn on a uni vibe. The day tripper tone, and this splits in stereo, so you can hear. Uh, a, a wider tone. So we can simulate a lot of old gear. I mean, that's that's obviously what what we do with with simulators. We simulate a, a huge room full of gear. We do some new things, but really simulate a lot of old things. So with this wipeout tone, you can hear the springline reverb, very juddery sort of sound, like it's in a bathtub. The characteristic of those older style recordings, the surf rock. Satisfaction. The old maestro fuzz. Always sounded to me like a distortion pedal with a flat battery in it. But that's how we get it. Now how we tame these sounds is a concept called COSM. You've probably seen COSM, the COSM logo on, on uh, many Roland and Boss products over the years. And what it stands for is Composite Object Sound Modeling. Uh, it's a very fancy way of saying that we model individual components in a sound and as many individual components in the sound to try and get the most authentic result at the end. So with an amplifier, instead of just having the amplifier, the gain stage and, uh, and, a, and a speaker box, you have the specific gain stage for that amplifier, obviously, but also the specific EQ for that amplifier. Uh, and also then you can decide what speaker it goes into, whether it's a large stack or even a small one, you know, one eight inch speaker or anything in between that. Then you can decide what mic goes on it, a condenser mic or a dynamic mic, uh, whether it's on the center of the cone, off the cone, angled, all these different individual aspects of your tone that, that go up to, to make up your tone. Uh, and they're really important. And the more you can break that down, the more authentic tone you can get at the end. So, lovely stairway tone. Lovely delays and reverbs on there. Watchtower. This is a great tone. This has stereo panning. So in the original recording, obviously no automation, but they were physically panning the guitar from left to right. 
So there's an auto pan function, stereo auto pan. I just put it at the same speed as the, the recording is. You can hear it waving in between. And obviously the wah on the expression pedal here. We've got six different types of wahs. Nice big reverbs and delays again. It's the uh, Brian tone. Seventies rock tone. We sound like it's in a little room, really condensed. So that's a really large reverb, but a, but a, a, a like a, a large reverb, but a small delay time. So it sounds like it's uh, it's in a room, but in a smaller room. <laughs> Nice clean sounds. And you can hear there's a pre-delay on the reverb, so it's ryth very rhythmic. Okay, so another, if you hear, listen to the recordings of what you do, the sounds you're trying to get, you'll hear these nuances. Uh, pitch shifting again, harmonising. <laughs> Fourth above there. Classic Van Halen tone. But again in E flat. Alright, so here's one more recording. E flat tuning. Now I can change that with my control control pedal here to go back to normal tuning. Flanger on there as well. Some uh, nice ping ponging delay. With that particular sound, I'm running two independent amplifiers with separate delay times running in each speaker. Another a pitch shifting patch. The octave up. Then into. Big 80s rock tone. So really, really nice natural distortion tones. Uh, super processed 80s tone. Nice vintage with a bit of fuzz on it. It's a big, thick, layered tone. Again, using two different amplifiers, split in stereo. And just go to the uh, tune down tone again. It's the mono version, then split into the stereo version. So the GT100 can allow you to get these type of tones direct lines, straight into your recording device or straight into a PA. Uh, here we're not using a guitar amp at all, we're going straight through a small PA system. So it's direct line, uh, and if you ever want to hear how good an amp processor is, plug it into some sort of high quality PA or, or monitors, you'll really hear every nuance. So that's very important. If you can get great sounds like that in a microscope environment like a PA or monitors, you can get great sounds through your guitar amp. But this is direct line, so we're simulating everything. Thanks for watching, guys. That's the new Boss GT100 amp effects processor. Get into your nearest Allen's Billy Hyde store and check one out for yourself or online at allensbillyhyde.com.au.